nutrition is a really hot topic among consumers and so what's really good about that is it's a really hot topic in research so when you're trying to look for information on um, how to sort out the nutrition information look for the research and, and then you want to question the research you know was it supported by someone who had an agenda did it show you any kind of bias and that can still be a challenge so you want to uh, look for trusted evidence-based organizations such as the American Heart Association, the American Cancer Society, or the American Dietetic Association. And if you still have questions, it's really good to turn to those experts in the profession, such as a registered dietitian. Getting enough fruits and vegetables is a challenge for everyone, but it may be easier than you think. A simpler way to look at this is just to get four to five cups a day and really kind of go away from the thought of servings. So to get four to five cups a day, aim for a cup each time that you eat. And doing this on the go, the biggest thing is it takes planning. Plan when you shop and plan when you prepare it. And schedule a time in your busy um, lifestyle to actually come home and cut, wash, and even portion all your fruits and vegetables. There's nothing worse than fresh fruit we've already bought rotting on your counter because we didn't take time to prepare it. There are more choices than ever in our supermarkets because they're listening to the health demands that we have. I'm going to give you two secrets to really look for when you're looking for healthy foods is to fill up on fiber and fewer fats. And what, how this helps us is that by choosing foods high in fiber, they're naturally going to be lower in calorie and they're more satisfying so they fill us up for a longer period of time. And foods lower in fat, we know fat has twice the amount of calories as compared to carbohydrates and protein. And it's going to keep our hearts healthy. So higher fiber and lower fat is a great way to make a healthy choice. Dietary supplements such as a multivitamin can be great for those who have known deficiencies or maybe it was recommended by your doctor or your dietitian. However, um, richly colored food, fruits and vegetables and our whole grains, they have those disease fighting nutrients such as fiber and phytonutrients and antioxidants that science is still really lacking to tell us that it gives us dietary supplements can offer us that same disease fighting power. So they can be a great safety net and correct deficiencies, but consider this thought that food should be first.